Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about DCPs, Blu-rays, and DVDs, and how or if you need them. So I'm going to start with DVDs because that's going by the wayside very quickly. You've probably already noticed that there's not even that many DVD stores out there that you can go and rent DVDs from. The, basically the blockbusters, the Hollywood videos, all the big ones are literally out of business, and you may have a few mom and pop stores. So what does that say? It says the business is dying. So why would you even need a DVD? Well, you know, a lot of filmmakers want to give DVDs away, you know, to their, their team or their supporters, um, or maybe even sell them at the end of their run, uh, as far as like making the film right before it goes into, into distribution. But that even, that's even going away. I mean, these days, a lot of filmmakers are giving um, digital links away to the movie, uh, basically like through Vimeo or something, where the, the video's there and it's available for a short period of time for their supporters to watch it. But then after that, it's not out there. They also use Vimeo for like, um, you know, putting press screeners out there or even screeners for distributors to look at. That was another reason that filmmakers needed DVDs because whenever they would go to markets or, you know, festivals and someone wanted to see their movie, they would have a DVD to hand them. So that brings into play Blu-rays. That was the next thing people were doing. People wanted a higher quality um, uh, output. So festivals were demanding or asking for Blu-rays as opposed to DVDs. And then a lot of um, just consumers were using Blu-rays. Um, so, so that's why Blu-rays were, were popular. And, that's, and also you could deliver them. You could deliver films on Blu-ray equipment. But then DCPs came out. And DCPs are, it's called a digital cinema package. Basically, it's like a hard drive, and you put your film on that, and you can put a very, very high quality uh, version of your film on that that can show in a theater at like super, super high quality ranges. So a lot, there are a lot of festivals that are going towards that. I'd say in the last couple of years, and this is like 19, 2019, 2020, um, about half the festivals that we were talking to actually were requesting DCPs. And that's a huge amount. I mean, even in 2017, 2018, you'd get a few asking for a DCP, but not very many. So it's changing over very rapidly. And then also distributors would like to see your media on a DCP. Um, especially if you're going to be doing uh, some sort of uh, screening where it's across several theaters. Um, you know, theater chains might also ask for a DCP. I know when we were doing one of our screenings for our um, theatrical release, uh, the theater, which was, I believe, Regal, actually preferred a DCP to Blu-ray or anything else. But they also asked for a backup Blu-ray, just in case there was a problem. So that's what we're finding mostly now, is that in your film festivals and your distributors, um, what people are wanting are DCPs and or Blu-rays. And even if you were making DVDs, a lot of people don't even have the players anymore to play them. Um, one other source that I wanted to make mention of is there's a thing called MOD, which is Movie On Demand. And that's another opportunity that usually your distributor uh, gets involved with those um, manufacturers that do it. And basically they make the movie on demand. So if someone buys an actual DVD on Amazon, they'll get the actual DVD, but they only make one at a time. So that's another thing. I'm not sure you know who those companies are. You'd have to go out and do some research to find out, but that's another opportunity. So if you did want to give a certain amount to say your cast or crew, you don't have to go to say disc makers who is one of the most prominent dvd makers and order you know 500 or a thousand you can actually order a much much smaller amount so i hope that answered some of your questions about the differences between dcps blu-rays and dvds and why you may want to use them might have considered them and what people are looking for today if you have any other questions feel free to you know, put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I look forward to, you know, sharing another tip with you soon. So look out for that.